So someone brought a hadith about Islam, trying to make Islam look bad and Muslims look ignorant. And they quoted one hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which says, the hadith is authentic. If a fly, fly lands in your food or in your drink, don't throw the drink or the food out. Dip the fly, dip it. Then take that little section out and throw it out. Eat and drink the rest. So in that chat group, Obviously, everyone started to attack Muslims and Islam, attacking our Prophet ﷺ. Now, I'm watching and being very careful, and I had my friend as well. He was studying uh, economics, but alhamdulillah, intelligent. And I said, wait, don't, don't reply. Let's see what they say. And we had something ready. Now, I'll, I'll share it with you. You'll love this. This Islam, it's dirty. We told you they are backwards, they said. They have to dip a fly and they eat it. The bacteria, the, uh, these flies have landed in dirty places. If you eat it, you can get hepatitis because hepatitis comes from not washing your hands in the toilet, right? If you know a chef or a cook who goes to the toilet and doesn't wash his hands, it's a problem, it's dangerous. You get hepatitis, hepatitis A, B or C. And these people said the fly lands here and they eat it. This, they're following this ancient book, this primitive prophet, astaghfirullah. When Rasulullah taught us to be ahead of time, the Quran is ahead of its time. Al Muhammad, anyway, they kept talking, and then we brought them an article, a new study from the Monash University in, in Melbourne, in, in Australia. And there are other universities in America as well. And now I saw it appearing in the ABC Science, and also I think it was Science Direct. So there's studies being done on it. This is only recently, and it may be. Uh, about 17, 18 years ago, they, you know, in science, they ask questions. I wonder how a fly can survive in dirty places. You, you give a question and you make a hypothesis. You, you think, okay, I think it's one, two, three. Then you put it to a test. You test it. And what they asked was, how does a fly survive in the toilet without dying? It must have an anti antibacteria antibody that fights the bacteria that it digests and then it must got it must have a immune system in its immune system antibody that is already in it which maybe humans don't have i wonder they said if we can extract that antibody from the fly and make a vaccine out of it just like we made uh, venom anti-venom you know we took the poison out of the snake added some things to it and make it into an anti-venom. When someone gets bit by a snake, bitten by a snake, they go to the hospital, put anti-venom and it fights the venom. So I wonder if we can fight the bacteria that stops hepatitis from people dying. Then they asked, but it's too expensive to take it out of the blood. So they said, what's the best way? They said, it must exist all over its body. They said, the best way is to dip it in fluid. Many flies. Wallahi, you can read about it. Monash University or ABC uh, Science. Uh, about the fly and antibacteria. They said dip it in ethanol solution, like alcohol, so ethanol solution, and automatically the bacteria and the antibacteria comes out. And then we can extract the antibacteria and make a vaccine. Rasulullah said this more than 1,400 years ago. And he said, dip the fly, why? Because he said one wing carries the bacteria, the other wing drops the antibacteria. So you have it in your food, you already killed off the bacteria. So when you eat, there's no problem. The antibody killed the bacteria, subhanAllah. But he didn't say it in a scientific way. This is just modern words, just the language changed. Suddenly on that chat group, wallahi, no one commented anymore.